given all of this trauma that you go through, why would you choose to go back and see this tyrant of a father for one last time? It was the only way for me to move forward. So like a lot of times, if your back is hurting, it may not be your back. It may be something else in your body that's making your back hurt. For me, I'm like, man, why can't I get past this hurdle? So like I said, I'm always examining myself every day. What is it? What is it? Well, there's only one thing you haven't examined yet, and it's going back to the beast, going back to the demon. So when I went back to him, I realized that that was the unsolved mystery, was I had to look that man in the eye one more time. Like how I studied the, that Navy SEAL talking shit and lying, I got it from this part right here in the book. I went and I didn't see him anymore as this beast. I started doing research on him, found out that his dad used to beat him really bad. So my, his, his dad would have put him in front of a furnace, opened the furnace up with the flames coming out and put him right in front of it, have him bare butt naked and he would whip the shit out of him. And the whole idea of that is if you move, you're going to get burned. So stay right here and take your fucking beating. So what happened with him, those demons from his father went to my father and he tried to transfer them over to me. I had to understand who my father was, understand where he came from, understand why were you so brutal to us? I got my answers, took those answers and made myself better from the answers about him. And so that's why it was necessary for me to go back. Not, I was looking for an apology. So then maybe I could just go be a loser and understand that you fucked me up. Why would the apology make you a loser? It would make, no, it would make me feel vindicated. Justified. Yes. Like, man, you, you did this to me. I can go be a loser now. My failings are okay. This okay. Yep. Because you did this. So I was looking for that. And when I went there, I, I, I realized because this voice in here was saying, it's not your dad's fault. And I'm like, nah, man. Because this voice over here always said, it's your dad's fault. This other voice started tuning in, was loud, started getting louder. The more I drove to Buffalo, was saying, you get to face a lot of shit, young man. You got a long journey ahead of you because you're going to find out that while your dad did a lot of shit to you, you're going to have to fucking make it on your own. And the voice got louder and louder and louder. And by the time I got to that door and by the time I was leaving that house, instead of me feeling sorry for myself, I started to do a live autopsy. To a lot of people, when you die, they figure out why you died. They figure out how you died in the autopsy. But we never do a live autopsy to figure out why we're dying while we are alive. And I was dying. I was living every day. But I was really dead. And so I figured it out. And once I figured it out, I was able to reborn. I was able to be reborn. What we see is this pattern of generational trauma. Mm -hmm. Your grandfather to your father, your father to you, mm -hmm. father to son, just being passed on, passed on, passed on. Mm -hmm. Is this part of your mission to be a circuit breaker, to be a, a dam, to stop this trauma from moving forward into the next generation? A hundred percent. But with people, I'm trying to build people up. I'm trying to armor their mind. I'm trying to get them the belief because this world we live in is tough. It's tough. It will beat you down. The world and the life that we live in is the ultimate competitor. It will try to take you out. It will, it will find your weakness and it will fucking just hammer you. It's like a personal curse. A hundred percent. So, if I can help you build belief, build confidence to the point where nothing can hurt you because you know exactly who you are. You've faced your demons. You've, you've been able to go on an audio book in your mind. Maybe you didn't write a book, but in your mind, you were able to hear all your past traumas. You were able to listen to them. You're able to fucking say, okay, now I can now talk to people about what I went through. I'm no longer embarrassed. I'm no longer ashamed. Being ashamed is one of the biggest things that kill people nowadays in their minds, kill them from moving forward. I'm ashamed of myself. Don't ever be ashamed of anything you've done in your life. Face it, fix it, make it better.
we are humans. But then again, if you always think that we're humans, you will always just be a human and always make the same fucking mistakes. You must take this knowledge that you learn from all this shit is knowledge. So I'm just trying to give people that strength to go in the archives of your life because while you're probably fucked up, it's probably something happened to you in your life. Go through the archives, dig it up, study it, and then use it for yourself. That's, that's the main purpose for me right now. Have you considered what you would be like as a father? Yeah. I actually have a daughter right now. Yeah. No way. I didn't know. Yeah. I have a daughter right now. But that being said, I'm an open and honest person. When you meet people at a young age, so I had a kid at a young age when I was in the worst possible place in my life. So when you're in a bad place, you're not going to meet a kish. You're going to meet a person that's very similar to who you are at that time. And then you bring a child into this world. And as you start to move up in this world and get better, and you realize, I need to get better, you try to pull that person along with you. A lot of times, they don't want to come where you're going. And it creates a bad environment. So that's where that is right now. This episode is brought to you by Element. Element is a tasty electrolyte drink mix with everything that you need and nothing that you don't. I've replaced my morning coffee with Element every day for over three years now, and I've never looked back. It means I've optimized my hydration, my brain feels better, I'm not getting mental fog, and it's helping me to curb cravings if I'm fasting throughout the day. Even Video Guy Dean uses it. My favorite flavor is the orange. That in a cold glass of water upon waking feels really, really good. It's a science-backed electrolyte ratio of sodium, potassium, and magnesium, which helps me to feel at my absolute best all day. Also, they have a no BS, no questions asked refund policy, so you can buy it and try it for an unlimited amount of time, and if you do not like it, they'll give you your money back, and you don't even need to return the box. That's how confident they are that you'll love it. Head to drinklmnt.com slash modernwisdom to get a free sample pack of all eight flavors with your first box. That's drinklmnt.com slash modernwisdom. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you enjoyed that clip with Goggins, then press here for the full episode in all of its glory. And don't forget to subscribe.